Due to mounting international outage, Russia agreed to lift its blockade on Ukraine's grain. Ukraine is one of the world's bread baskets, a leading exporter of wheat, barley, corn and sunflower. But its shipments plummeted after the war began. After invading Ukraine on February 24th, Russian ships have imposed a de facto blockade on Ukraine's ports that has triggered a food crisis around the world, sending food prices soaring, particularly in developing countries in Africa and the Middle East that depend on grain shipments from Ukraine. Russia agreed to let Ukraine move grain shipments out of its Black Sea ports because it faced growing global condemnation over its blockade. Victoria Nuland, State Department Under Secretary for Political Affairs, said Moscow recognized its stand risked further isolation and alienating countries outside of Europe and North America. This came together because I think Russia ultimately found the hot breath of global opprobrium, Nuland said at the Aspen Security Forum. Russia has blamed the global food crisis on Ukraine and NATO, but that argument was losing traction among developing countries that rely heavily on grain from Ukraine. According to New Land, Russia has had to turn to Iran and North Korea recently for assistance, seeking drones from Tehran and workers from Pyongyang, reflecting its international isolation, according to New Land. Under the deal signed Friday in Istanbul, Russia and Ukraine agreed to a maritime humanitarian corridor free of naval ships, warplanes or drones that would allow cargo ships with grain and other food to move out of Ukrainian ports through the Black Sea. Tens of millions of tons of grain have been stuck in Ukraine due to Russia's invasion. This is BBS News, a channel that provides the hottest and latest information from around the world. Thank you for listening. Goodbye.